Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I built this combination LED light, camera mount, power port, and who I got the inspiration for this from. So stick around. Alright guys, like I said, today's video we're going to be building this combination LED light, camera mount, power port, and that all of this drops down and fits inside a vertical rod holder. You can put it in your boat, you can put it on your wagon whenever you're bank fishing. Guys, this is a very utility camera mount. It's going to come in handy. Now guys, a few weeks ago my wife and I were up at Lake Mendota. It's a small lake in southern Wisconsin. We went up there with a big group of other YouTubers, including Mark from Catfish and Crappie who had something very, very similar to this in his boat. I hounded him all weekend about it, asked him how he made it, got him to send me some pictures, and uh, told him I was gonna build one of my own. Guys, I've got a link to Mark's channel in the description of this video. Go check out his stuff. He's got some excellent content, and we're gonna build us one of these. So let's get started. Step one, cut a section of inch and a quarter PVC pipe to your desired length. I cut mine to 48 inches. This will control the height of your camera mount. You will also need to cut two two inch sections. Step two, glue a two inch section of PVC into each side of the PVC T. Install your LED light bar and drill a small hole below it to feed the wire inside of the T. Attach a camera mount to the top using a half inch quarter by 20 machine screw. Step three, drill your PVC caps and install the switch and USB port. Attach the power leads to the USB port. Step four, cut a six inch section of wire to attach to the switch. I used marine triplex wire in this video because it's what I had on hand. This is the pinout configuration for the illuminated switch used in this video. Step five, use a soldering iron to apply solder to the switch terminals. Solder the sections of wire you cut in step four to the switch. If you check the description of this video, I have a link to a PDF copy of the wiring diagram, wired exactly as I did it in this video. Step six, strip a quarter inch of insulation from the other end of each wire on the switch. Use a crimp tool to install insulated quick disconnects to each wire. This is a wiring diagram showing how I wired this project. Take note that the switch is used to turn on the LED light bar only. Whenever the camera mount is plugged into a power source, the dual USB port will automatically power up. Step 7. Remove the socket end from a 12 volt extension cord. Attach to the location indicated in the wiring diagram and use hot glue or silicone to seal it where it enters the pipe. Step 8. Check the USB port, switch, and light bar for proper operation. Alright guys, as you can see, here's a completed project. We've got this long coiled cord for the uh, cigarette lighter port that would plug in anywhere in the boat or in our power bank when we're out bank fishing. It goes up. The uh, I cut the PVC pipe to four foot long, put the T on there. This is all inch and a quarter PVC. On one end of this, as I showed you, is the double quick charge 3.0 USB outlet with a voltmeter, shows you your voltage of your battery. The other side is an LED illuminated switch and that turns on this big LED spotlight. This all fits down into one of the vertical rod holders I picked up at Rural King for about $5. And at the top of this is a adjustable camera mount. We can get the GoPro wherever we want it. 
with or without using the LED. Guys, I did not glue the caps onto the thing so that we're able to pull them loose in the event that we need to repair any wiring or make any modifications. Both sides will pull right off. Those are just friction fit. Guys, like I said, the inspiration for this came from Mark from Catfish and Crappie. I'm going to link to his channel in the description of this video. Go over and check this out. If you check out his live from Mendota video series, he was using a mount just like this one that whole weekend. That's why I uh, asked him how he made it, got him to send me some pictures, and uh, I've made my own here. I think it's going to come in real handy. But uh, guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching my videos. I hope this one has helped you out. Uh, Guys, I know I went through it pretty quick. Like I said, if you get on the description of this video, I will have a link to a PDF copy of the wiring diagram for this thing. That way you can wire this up exactly the same way I did. Guys, the sky's the limit on these. Make it work for you and for your camera applications in your boat. Guys, that's all I got for this week. If you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video or go live. And guys, I can't wait to try this thing out. So until next time, we'll catch you out on the water.